Hello, Kenneth Hollins here with HollinsMusic.com and MyKeyboardConnection.com. Thank you so much for taking a few moments and viewing this video. This is actually a live stream, uh, but um, many of you all may see this uh, after, uh, after the live stream. But um, whenever you see it, hopefully this will be something uh, that will be uh, beneficial to you. Today, I want to talk to you from the subject of keys for easily playing in all 12 keys. Now, um, this is a subject that is all over the internet, uh, it's all over forums, uh, it's all over so social media um, um, amongst gospel musicians. And it's something that uh, people have mixed opinions about, mixed feelings about. Some people feel feel like it's not a big deal and, you know, why do people talk about it so much and, um, you know, the it's the argument of should you use transpose on your keyboard or should you not use it? Is it a big deal if you use it or not? And so I want to address that a little bit. And what I really want to do mainly is for the musicians that desire to easily play in all 12 keys, I want to give you some keys uh, that will help you to do that. Uh, for example, um, if you're a musician that you play uh, well in one key, but for whatever reason you may struggle in a different key, I want to give you some tips and some keys that will hopefully help you to overcome that, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is just share with you my personal uh, experience um, in terms of learning how to play in all 12 keys and uh, getting to a place where I'm, I'm fairly comfortable with it. Now, um, when I originally and first started to play and I, I learned uh, gospel music, that was the first type of music that I learned to play, um, I started learning songs and I started noticing that there were certain patterns in uh, certain songs and the songs um, would have these patterns in it and I would go from one song and then I would learn another song and then I would see some of the same patterns and then I would notice as I would learn more and more songs that I would see uh, patterns that were consistent amongst most of the songs and it really caught my attention and I started noticing that if I would learn certain patterns, that it would help me to uh, play songs. And in particular, it would help me to be able to learn songs. And the key really didn't matter if I knew the patterns in every song. And, 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 we're, and I'm, I'm going to get into this a little bit more. But what I want to share with you are some keys that I think will help. Okay, so um, let's begin this with a word of prayer. Uh, Father God, I thank you in the name of Jesus for everyone that will see this. Um, I pray that the information given, the things that are shared or even spoken and said will be beneficial, will be helpful. I ask even that you would guide this time now. And I thank you for getting glory out of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. All right. Well, let's get into this. Now, um, I'm going to share with you about four things or so that I believe will help you um, to learn to easily play in all 12 keys. If you want to be able to do that, then I'm going to help you to do that. If you don't feel like that's a big deal or there's anything to um, have to put a lot of time or attention, or attention into, don't sweat it. Don't get upset. I'm not here to beat anybody over the head. Um, if you use transpose and you want to continue to use that, who am I to say not to use it? I don't want to beat anybody over the head for, you know, how you approach your playing or your music. But for the individuals that you say, I want to get to the place where I don't need it, I don't have to use it, and I want to comfortably and easily be able to play in all 12 keys, I believe that these, um, these tips um, or keys, I believe it will help you. Okay, tip number one, um, you have to learn your 12 major scales. Okay, those of you all that you follow me, uh, you watch my videos, you probably knew that that was coming. You have to learn your 12 major scales. Okay, what am I talking about? All right. Okay, that's the C major scale. We know that. You're starting at C, you move up to the next C, and you come back down. That's a major scale. Okay, now, 
Of course, every note of the scale has a number that goes to it that's called a scale degree, okay? So, of course, the first note would be number one. The second note of the scale would be number two. And then three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we come back down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, okay? And so for all 12 keys, and there are 12 keys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, then we're back at C again. You need to learn your major scales and all 12 keys. That's if you want to be able to easily play um, play songs in, in whatever key you want. Knowing your scales is going to be the foundation of you being able to do that, okay? So, for example, you want to be able to play the D-flat major scale with the corresponding numbers that go to that scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on until I like, get through all 12 keys. Now, you also need to get to the place where you also... Um, can identify what number goes to what note of the scale. So, for example, if we were in the key of C, if I were to ask you what is the fifth tone of the C major scale, you should be able to tell me, one, two, three, four, five, it's the note G. If I were to ask you what's the seventh tone of the C major scale, you should be able to tell me it is what? It is the note B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? And you should be able to do that in all 12 keys so if we were in the key of a and i ask you what's the fourth tone of the a major scale you should be able to tell me that's the note d natural one two three four okay so that's what i mean when i say know your major scales uh know how to play them and not only know how to play them but also know the corresponding um scale number that goes to each note of that particular scale okay now, um, you want to know the numbers 1 through 8. You also want to know the numbers um, uh, flat 3, flat 7, um, sharp 11. Um, so you want to know your flats as well. And, and, and just for example, uh, if we were in the key of C again, okay, what's the flat 3 in the key of C? It's the note E flat. One, two, three. And if we lower that a half step or we flatten it, it'll be E flat. Okay, so that's what I mean by that. So you want to know the flat numbers in particular, the flat three, the flat, the flat seven. And then you also want to know uh, where sharp 11 is. And uh, 11 is just the same note as four. Okay, one, two, three, four, which is F, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then if we want to sharp, sharpen that or raise it a half step, it'll be F sharp. And you want to be able to do that for all 12 um, major scales, okay? So that's something that is foundational. That's something that is boring, okay? Some people will find that extremely boring, but sometimes it's those boring things that really give you the foundation that you need that you can really build on top of, okay? So I encourage you to work on that. Uh, second thing that is very um, helpful in, to, in learning how to play in all 12 keys is you need to learn your basic chords and by uh, basic chords I mean major um, major 7 minor minor 7 dominant 7 suspended 4th and suspended 7th augmented and diminished okay and when I say learn them learned uh, learn um, technically or theoretically what those uh, chords are for example and I, I just don't want to leave anybody out I know many uh, I know many uh, sub subscribers to this channel are advanced players so I don't want to um, I don't want to just only deal with beginner things but I don't want to leave anybody out that may not be familiar with some of these concepts so that's why I'm somewhat building the foundation of it okay so for example a major chord consist of the numbers one three and five when i put a number one a number three and a number five together that creates what's called a major chord okay if i were to put a one a three a five and a seven together that creates what's called a major seven chord 
if I were to put a 1, a 3, a 5, and a flat 7 together, that creates what's called a dominant 7 chord, okay? So that's what I mean when I say learn your chords. Major, minor, major 7, minor 7, dominant 7, uh, the suspended chords, the augmented chords, and the diminished chords. Learn, learn those chords and the numbers that create those particular chords, and then learn them in every key. Uh, for example, if we were in the key of F, a major chord is consists of the notes or the numbers rather one, three, and five. Okay, major seven would consist of the, the numbers one, three, five, and seven. Okay, and and so on. And you want to be able to do that in all twelve keys. Now that's the uh, theoretical side of it. But when you understand those things, it's going to make it a lot easier when you want to apply. Um, apply um, taking a song and being able to play it in a different key than the original key or the key that you uh, that you learned it in. When you understand those things, your chord qualities, major, minor, dominant, seven, all of that, and then you also understand your scales and you know the scales and the numbers, it's going to be so much easier. Trust me, it's going to be so much easier if you take the time and you do due diligence and you learn those things and and, and, and get to a place of uh, mastery with those things, it's going to make it a lot easier, okay? Now, when I first started, I was telling you about, I uh, when I was originally started learning gospel music, I started noticing that there are certain patterns uh, in songs. And, and um, in particular, in gospel music, Gospel music, a lot of the songs share a lot of the same chord progressions or chord patterns. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, it's so many songs that sound like this. Okay, now, just that little uh, progression I played right there, uh, probably two or three songs just popped in your head. I didn't say a song title, but th that's a pattern that's very common in, in gospel music. Um, I'll give you a different one. Okay, all right, I just played a, a basic little pattern, but it's probably three or four songs that share that same type of pattern. I hope you see what I'm saying. There are certain patterns that are very common in gospel music and really just uh, uh, music just in general. And a lot of different songs share the same patterns. Okay, what am I saying? I'm saying this. If you want to be able to play songs in every key, one thing that will happen, this is the, the second point that I wanted to make today, uh, 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 something else that will help is to learn um, common patterns or basic patterns in every key, okay? What, what's the most basic or common pattern? And when I say pattern, I'm really uh, speaking of chord progressions, okay? What's the most common? It's called the 2-5-1 progression. Most of us know that. Okay, what's a 2-5-1 progression? A 2-5-1 progression is a chord progression or a chord pattern that is built off of the second scale degree the fifth scale degree, and then back to the first scale degree. Let me give an example. Okay, if we're in the key of C, excuse me, C, <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what's the second scale degree? D would be the second scale degree. What's the fifth scale degree? G would be the fifth scale degree. And then back to the first scale degree, which is C. So we have D, G, C, or 2, 5, 1, okay? And it's like that for every key. If we were in the key of D flat, okay? E flat would be the 2, A flat would be the 5, D flat would be the 1. 2, 5, 1, okay? So, a 2, 5 progression, 2, 5, 1 progression would be a progression that's built off of the second fifth and first scale degrees okay so let's go back to the key of c a two five one progression would be this this is the two i'm building my chord off of the second scale degree 
Now we're going to go to the five. Okay. This is the fifth or the five chord. And then we're going to go to the one chord. So two, five, one. That's what you would call a two, five, one chord progression. Okay. Now, what would be great is you learn your two, five, one progressions in every key. Okay. So I'm going to play a uh, two five one progression. Okay, I'm gonna change the voicing a little bit just to get a different sound, so it just won't sound like root position block chords. Uh, but it's gonna be the same principle, two five one progression. Okay. All right. This is the two chord. That's the five chord. Okay. That's the one chord. All right. Now, my job is to learn that and to do it in all twelve keys. So let's do it. A half step up in the key of D flat. All right, the two in D flat would be E flat. The five would be A flat. The one would be D flat. Okay. Two, five, one. All right. Let's go to the next key. Let's go to the key of D. All right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, five, one. E A D. All right. Two, five. Let's go up to E flat. One, two, three, four, five. F, B flat, E flat. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Let's do it in the key of E natural. That's the two, five, one. Let's do it in the key of F. Two, five, one. Let's do it in the key of G flat. Two, five, one. Okay, and so I could keep going, but what I'm trying to get you to see is I'm learning or I'm playing uh, the two five one progressions in every key. Now, what is that going to do when it's time for me to learn a song or to play a song in a, a different key than maybe what I'm uh, used to playing it in? The fact that I know the one some of the most common progressions is going to make it a lot easier. In other words. Uh, those progressions that are coming in most songs, I'm going to already know it in that key because I'm going to know it in all 12 keys. I hope you understand what I'm saying. If you take the time and you learn your basic progressions in all 12 keys, it's going to help you to, um, to take a song that you say, for example, you know very well in A flat, but you may not know it, um, that same song very well in the key of B natural. Now, if you know your basic chord progressions, then when you get to B natural, a 2-5-1 progression is a 2-5-1 progression, and the key does not matter, okay? And it's that principle that will help you to be able to play in every key. So 2-5-1 is a very common progression. 3-6-2-5-1 is um, a, a common progression. 3-6-2-5-1. So, for example, if we're back in the key of C... Okay, three is E, six is A, uh, D is two, G is five, C is one. So a three, six, two, five, one would be this. Three, six, two, five, one. Okay, now if I change my voicing up a little bit just to get a, a different sound, it would sound more like this. Some different things to there you know just try to uh, beef it up a little bit but the principle uh, remains where I'm playing a, a, a basic progression now let's do this in a different key let's do the same three six two five one progression in the key of D flat all right here we go okay one two three okay F is three B flat is six E flat is two A flat is five D flat is one. You see how fast I'm doing that? And I'm the only reason I can do that with speed is because I took the time to really learn my skills. Okay? So here we go. Three, six, two, five, one. Three, six, two, five, one. Y'all see that? Let me do it again. Three, 
six, two, five, one. All right, and the key of B flat. Let's do the same progression. Let's pick another key. Let's go to the key of F natural. Three, six, two, five, one. One, two, three. Okay, that's the three. Four, five, six. B is the six. Then two is the G. C is the five. F is the one. Here we go. Three, six, two, five, one. And then I can learn it in every key. One progression that I noticed that was very common was um, the one chord moving to the four chord. But uh, before it got to the four chord, a lot of times the one chord would um, shift to a dominant seven chord. Let me show you what I mean. For example, if we're in the key of C again, I would hear this quite a bit. Okay, so the one chord, then move into the four. All right, for example, um, I need the O. Uh, I need, and then that's the one chord, and then that's the dominant seven chord, the O, and then we go to the four. All right, and so I grew up, um, I grew up in a Kojic church, and so that's a song that they they sang quite a bit, and I grew up playing in what was called a testimony service. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, it was a portion of the service where, um, um, of course, there was music and people were singing, but people would actually get up to testify. Now, this is how it worked. Most times, people would stand up and sing a song, and then after they sang their song, they would start to testify. You know, they would give their testimony. God's been good to me this week. He blessed me with a new job or, you know, just whatever they, you know, decided to say. But the thing about testimony service, and I'm so grateful that I had this opportunity learning, is because it really forced me to learn this and to develop this. Because when people would get up and sing their songs, number one, I wouldn't know. I was on the organ. I was on the Hammond organ playing. I wouldn't know what song they were going to sing, neither what key they were going to sing it in. So I had to pick up whatever song that they decided that they wanted to sing. And sometimes it was some it was some interesting songs. Let me just put it like that. And not only that, um, they could be in any key. They could be in F, a G, E natural, B flat, D. Those of you out there playing services like that, you know what I mean. And sometimes it, it wasn't in the keys that I was comfortable in. Uh, it wasn't in A flat. It wasn't in C sharp. It was in E natural. It was in B natural. It was in D. And so after I would figure out what key that they were in, then it was up to me to try to play the song in that key. Okay? And when I first started doing it, it was kind of hard. And on and on the Hammond organ, I didn't have transpose. So either I was going to play in the, the key that the person was singing it in, or I was going to try to bring it down a half step. Some of y'all know what I mean. You know, hoping, hope, uh, hoping that the singer would go down a half step or try to push them up a half step. You know, uh, y'all. some of y'all know exactly what I mean. But um, playing in those settings, it really helped me because it forced me to be quick on my feet it forced me to have to learn certain keys um, that maybe otherwise I wouldn't even try to play in. Okay, because I always wanted to play in the key that the person was singing in. That's just something that I always personally wanted to do. And so I noticed that in certain songs there were certain progressions. Okay, so like I gave an example. I need, I need the old. And it goes on. I need the okay. So I I um uh, I noticed that one moving to four progression, and so I decided okay, I'll learn it in every key. All right. So I tried it in D flat. I need the O. Okay. Then I learned the same progression in another key. I need the O. Okay. And I just kept doing it. The O. I need the so what am I doing? I'm learning their progression and I'm putting it in all 12 keys. So so when somebody sings that song, it doesn't matter what key it's in because I know the progressions 
in all 12 keys, okay? Uh, it's another song that we used to do a lot in testimony service uh, called Yes, Lord, okay? And yes, Lord, and it's the same type of progression where it would move from the one chord to the four chord. So, yes, Lord, and then the one chord would shift to dominant seven. Yes, Lord, like that. And so I noticed that there were certain progressions that were coming amongst so many different songs. And so I just took it upon myself uh, to start taking those progressions that were coming that I was noticing. Uh, I was noticing that they would they'll keep coming back up over and over again. I just said, well, let me try to see if I can play this in every key. Let me see if I can do that. Let me see if I can do that. I remember one progression in, in particular um, that I think was kind of pivotal for me when I was learning to play. It was a 2-5-1 progression, but specifically, I didn't know this then, but I, I, and I, I later learned this. It was actually a dominant 7 flat 9 chord going to a um, E flat dominant 7 chord. Excuse me, let me say it right. It was a dominant 7 flat 9 chord on, on the second scale degree moving to a dominant seven chord on the fifth scale degree and then finally on a dominant seven chord on the first scale degree okay i didn't understand all of that when i was learning it but i i could hear that it was a common pattern and i learned that progression in one song so i decided let me see if i can put it in all 12 keys and so this was the progression okay Okay, so that was the progression there. Now, this is when I first started. I probably had been playing a few months, and this is a progression that I learned. So it was real basic, okay, but it was something that was real common that I noticed in the congregational song. Here's the progression. Two, five, one. Okay, and so I noticed that if I knew that progression, I could use that in a lot of different songs. I noticed that, so I started to take that progression and see if I could put it in every key. All right. Um, so let me see. I, now I just played that in the key of A flat. Now let me see if I can do the same thing in the key of A. So the two, five, one in A would be okay. And on the five, I'm really actually doing a suspended seven. Now some of y'all may notice that. But it's the principle I'm trying to get you to see. Okay? And so, go up another half step in the key of B flat. Okay, go up another half step in the key of B. Okay, go up another half step in the key of C. Okay, go up another half step in the key of D flat. Okay, so, so I hope you're seeing that um one thing that helps now this is what helped me i'm giving you my personal experience what helped me was to identify those common chord progressions and i learned them in all the keys i learned them in all 12 keys okay and then by me knowing them in those keys i learned that um as i learned new songs that um those same progressions would come up and as I learned those songs, new songs or whatnot, and I wanted to play them in different keys, I noticed that those same progressions were coming up, but I already knew them in different keys, which made it so much easier. Man, I hope you all are hearing what I'm saying. It made it so much easier. Let me give you another progression that was very pivotal for me in my playing. Okay? Um, let's go back to the key of A flat. Now, another progression that was very common that I noticed was the 7-3-6 progression, okay? 7-3-6-7, seven, seven, which was um, a minor 7 flat 5 type sound going to the 3, which was uh, dominant 7, sometimes dominant 7 flat 9 going to the 6, which was minor 7, okay? Now, um, and, I, and I know I'm using a lot of numbers um, and, and if you're not familiar with that, uh, that's okay. I, I don't want to uh, get too deep into that because I know everybody doesn't understand that. But um, one thing I do recommend, if you really want to get into this a little uh, deeper, 
I recommend you downloading uh, a video that I have available now. It's called Learn to Play in All 12 Keys. And it breaks down the common chords, um, explains the numbers that goes to those chords, major, minor, minor 7, dominant 7, augmented, suspended, diminished. It breaks it down. It tells you theoretically what those numbers are. Not only that, uh, it shows you a shortcut way. I've never seen anybody teach it the way that I have it presented on this video. I haven't seen a single person in my whole life teach it this way, but I think it's a, 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 a very simple way to learn it an easy way to learn it. People um, saw the video and, and contacted me and told me it took me years to wrap my head around learning uh, the basic chords the traditional way and the way you just showed me I learned it in in like 30 minutes and so it's it's one of those type of things where you're gonna get it and you're gonna get it quick if you know your major chords and all 12 keys if you uh, see what I'm teaching on this video you'll be able to play your basic chords, those seven or eight chords that I named out, major, minor, dominant seven, uh, minor seven, um, diminished, augmented, suspended, you'll be able to play all of those keys and all 12 key, uh, and all 12 keys, all of those chords and all 12 keys in no time. It, within that day, you're going to be doing it if you, if you understand what's being taught on the video. So I would encourage you, go to the store, um, learn to play in all 12 keys at hollandsmusic.com. And go to the store tab and you'll see the video where you can download it. I guarantee you it's going to make a tremendous uh, difference in you learning how to play in all, all the keys and doing it easy. Okay? Alright, so let's get back to what we're talking about. Now, um, I learned those common progressions. This is another one that we're going to go to something else. Alright. It was a 7-3-6 progression, which is like this here. Um... Okay, I'm in the key of A flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven is G. One, two, three. Uh, C is three. F is six. Okay, and so the progression is seven, three, six. Okay, now that was in so many different songs. I can't even tell you how many hundreds of songs, probably thousands of songs. That that progression is in. Um, let's do it in a different key. Let's do it in the key of B flat. That seven three six progression. Uh, one two three four five six seven. Okay, one two three four five six seven three six. All right, so it'll be A D G. Three six. Okay, let's do it in a different uh, key. Let's do it in the key of E natural. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The seven would be D sharp. The three would be G sharp. And then um, the six would be C sharp. Okay? And I learned that in all 12 keys. And so whenever I would run across a song that, um, you know, I needed to play it in a different key, if the song had that progression in it, Piece of cake, piece of cake. I give you an example. Um, uh, it's a song that um, they used to sing um, at my home church when I was growing up, and I used to try to reharmonize it, <laughs> and I would try to remember what I did when I was reharmonizing it. Uh, just another day that the Lord has kept me. Okay. And it was it was a um, it was a very traditional type song, but I just tried to spice it up a little bit. And so um, I would look at it like this. Say for example, I was looking at it in um, the key of D flat, and so I would say, okay, it's moving from the the four major seven going to the three dominant seven sharp five sharp nine going to the six minor okay all right so i will figure out what key that they're in i will hear them singing just another day i will hear that b flat and then i will hear um 
um, B flat the minor sound, but I, I, I would know that the relative major of that was D flat major. And so I would take the D flat major scale and use that as my reference in terms of figuring out the numbers of where they were moving or the chords were moving that I was playing. And so that's the four, that's the three. So the person would sing just another day that the Lord has kept me. Okay, so four, three, six. All right, four, major seven, three, dominant seven, sharp five, sharp nine, going to the six, minor seven. Okay, so I'm, and I'm doing this in my head now. I'm, I'm doing all of the math in my head. So I'm thinking, okay, so that's what they did. All right, so now let me go to a different key and see if I can do the same thing. Four major seven, three dominant seven, sharp five, sharp nine, and then six minor seven. Okay, let's see if we can do this in the key of E. Oh, E. <laughs> e is not hard, okay? Well, let's see if we can do the same thing in the key of E. All right, let's take four major seven, three dominant seven, sharp five, sharp nine, going to the six, which is uh, minor seven, okay? Now, first thing is we got to know the E major scale. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, where is four? One, two, three, four. So I know that first chord is going to be built on A, okay? And specifically, A major seven. So if I know what four is in the key of A, and I also know how to play a major seven chord, there you go. Here we go. Just another day. Okay, and then we're going to the three which was dominant seven, sharp five, sharp nine. So what's the three in the key of E? One, two, three, all right, which is A flat. And it's this chord. And I know that A flat, dominant seven, sharp five, sharp nine is like this. Or like that. Okay, that would be a dominant seven, sharp five, sharp nine chord. And then to the six, what's six in the key of E? One, two, three, four, five, six, C sharp, which is the six. And I know it's minor, 7. So we will go here. A minor 7, a C sharp minor 7 chord. Okay? So we went here on the 4, on the 3, on the 6. Okay? Major 7 on the 4, dominant 7 flat excuse me, dominant 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9 on the 3, and then minor 7 on the 6. All right, let's take that and see if we can apply it to another key. And all I would need to know how to do is two things. Know the scale number, the scale numbers of that key, as well as those basic chords, those three basic chords. And then I could play it in any key, and it wouldn't matter, okay? Let's go to the key of D natural. Let's say D natural. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Four is G. One, two, three. Three is F sharp. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. B is six. All right, so let's try that. So G major seven. And then F sharp, sharp five, sharp nine. And then B minor seven. Okay, let's try a different key. Let's do it in the key of A major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. D is the four. All right. One, two, three. Uh, C sharp is the three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. F sharp is the six. So D, C sharp, F sharp. Okay. So I need D major seven going to C sharp, dominant seven, sharp nine, sharp five. And then finally going to the F sharp minor seven. Okay, okay, so we have, okay, and so that's, that's really the process that I, that I go through in my mind, and when you first start doing this, you're not going to do it real fast, it's going to, it's going to take you a little time to get to the place where you're processing things like that, but when you start to do it, um, and you, you know, you force yourself to figure it out, you know, you, you'll be like, man, what's the four, uh, 
What's the six? What's dumb? Is you gonna?